you know, we're toys, so we don't have rights. This really doesn't make any sense, man. Really doesn't make any sense. Hey, this is Uncle Pro, Pro Bronwyn. And I want to tell all of you, stay nerdy and get your geek on. Yeah. What's up, guys? BC coming back at you guys. You another Transformers video review, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Takara Tomy Masterpiece MP17 Plus Prowl. I believe he's 17 plus. I could be wrong though. Ah, whatever. Point is, here is the Copper Boy himself. And clearly enough, we're just gonna get it right out of the way. His three accessories are literally bolted onto him right now. Basically, that's it right there. So we get these two oversized rocket launchers, set those to the side, and then we're going to take this off because this is literally his rifle, it folds open. You know the drill with this thing, I'm not going to bother going into the accessories. But here is the car itself, and you can tell there are some downsides to the paint, the extra paint, because uh, mine chipped right there. And there's tons of paint chipping, but that comes at the price of fully painting a figure. Now, say what you guys will about this figure and how dated it may be. But I really like this mold. I think it's significantly better than the damn Earthrise Deluxe version. I'm not going to let that one go, Zach. I'm not going to let that one go. So anyways, there he is. Fantastic little figure. Um, I don't really have much else to say other than the fact that he rolls and the white paint on this. Let me tell you, this is beautiful to look at. Like, this entire figure is simply just gorgeous in hand. Yeah, I really don't have much else to say about it other than the fact that, you know... It's it's a paint upgrade from its original one. Now, I would compare it with the original, but I don't have the original anymore. Because, well, I chose to swap out. Yeah, you know how I do. Commit or go home. But anyways, yeah. I think we've had enough fun. Let's go ahead and get into his transformation. Grab the, whoa, geez, hi, how you doing? Grab the back and crack it like that. Take the back from here, split it in half. Pop this piece open and then untab everything from here. And due to the paint, this is stupid stiff. I'm gonna have to do that off camera. Got it. So just go ahead and bring all this down and around. Flip this piece up. Make sure all this gets straightened out properly. Fold this bit up and over that tab. Flip this back up and around. Swing this back down and around. And then extend and tab in the knee. And there is your leg. Do the same thing over on the other side. There we go. Now let's go ahead and focus on the front. Pull this bit down to unplug it take his arms and just straighten them out and bring them up like that come to this piece and just yank back to get that whole thing out then you're gonna bring these down and then you're gonna start working on all of this and what you're gonna basically do is you're gonna pull this open just a wee bit here flip this up and then swing this down so his head goes through bring these out and then bring them back up back up but before I do all that because I'm a dunce once you get the head up unplug those swing them, swing them around and then just rest the head on top of that now, we start locking all this in. Once everything is reoriented, making sure that this stays forward. 
I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right there. Fold this up. Flip the little cannons up and around. Then flip this up and tab it in. I'll get kind of set up. We'll take a look. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Rotate the waist. There we go. Now I'll clean him up. We'll take a look. And there he is in his robot mode. I actually really like it with the upgraded paint. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can angle these two. And that yeah, does look better. But it all depends on how you feel. But me personally, I do like them up like this. And just, yeah, I do love the way this figure looks. It's just so cool. It's so G1 accurate in everything. Um, obviously, his hands open up to receive the rifle. Which he barely holds. Like, he holds it just fine without tabbing it in. But it does kind of annoy me that he you can't really tab it in traditionally. Clearly enough, he'll still hold it just fine, but yeah. And I'll show you how the shoulder cannons go on. It's literally a case of... Whoops. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Something fell over. You literally just lift this up and then just kind of fit it over, and it pretty much just goes on perfectly. So that's one. And there's two. And there we go. Nice chrome lasers. There we go. And there we are. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. Size comparison wise, here's X Terrence Boss Klaatu, Fans Toys Spin Drift 2.0, MP Shockwave. And a custom that I'm working on. Articulation-wise, he's got a hinge swivel at the neck. Which, you know, it's okay. Obviously, you know, you're going to want to get these out of the way to get the full movement out of it. But, you know, there we go. His shoulders are... On a bold stem here. Which gives... Which kind of gives him a little bit of a butterfly... It doesn't really, but it gets you the full rotation so long as you have his arms completely out. Which, speaking of having arms completely out, it is indeed able to go fully straight. Double jointed elbow, rotation at the wrist, and opening hands. So that's all fine and dandy. Waist swivels due to transformation. Hip skirts move out of the way for just tension forward to back left uh, in and out thigh swivel a single joint naturally but if you really want to break the sculpt you could get a double out of him and then obviously you know we got some ankle tilt and some ankle pivot so yeah there we go overall articulation is pretty good all things considered let's go ahead and do some final thoughts Final thoughts wise, let's talk about the negatives. The transformation is a little bit on the difficult side to get through entirely because of the extra paint. It's all on the tabs that actually allow him to lock together in the vehicle mode. So it tends to get a little on the brutal side. Some of the articulation is a little limited. I'm not going to lie. But overall, I guess you could argue that he could have came with a few more accessories. But I mean, realistically, what else would you give him? I mean, I'd give him a table, but that's just me. Pot is... Yeah, there's the mess up for the whole entire video. Yeah. Positives wise, look at that balance. Look at that balance and tell me that that is not overly impressive. Like, you can't even see it right now, but that is entirely on one foot. I got him in a running pose. That's, that's pretty dope, all things considered. Um, anyways, he articulates pretty much like a champ for the most part. The artic and the amount of poses you can get this in is pretty awesome. The paint looks spectacular on this. The inclusion of the extra shoulder rockets is actually a nice touch. I didn't really care for these, and I'm only realistically showing these off for the sake of the review, because they're going right back in the box as soon as I'm done. 
but you know I can't hate this it looks really really cool so with that said guys as far as my actual ranking for this goes my final ranking for this is the silver seal I realize that it's shocking, shockingly low for him but let's be fair the figure is very dated so if we do end up getting like a fans toys rendition of him I would definitely buy to replace this. I doubt it'll ever happen, but it'd be nice. So, I mean, I guess we could definitely say he's a high silver, maybe even a low gold. Because of the fact that he can stand on one foot, literally. But, I mean... Yeah, I don't know what else to really say on the, on the matter. Other than, this is BC saying stay nerdy and get your geek on. Catch you guys next time, and I really hope that you guys are enjoying the uh, the modern newer reviews. I'm trying something new with those, and thank you for watching.